Uh, yeah. Can I read the? Yes, sir. I could gobble uh, them all. Uh, them all. For I am seven foot tall. Hence, from my ears, wouldn't they yell if uh, they knew? If they guessed that. Uh, A rug was here. Ha ha ha! They haven't a clue, or they would tremble, tremble in fear. Only two times ha ha was there. You said ha ha ha, like a raven. Anyways, uh, here Marok says that I could gobble them all, for I am seven foot tall. That means Merok now says that his height is seven foot, seven feet, and then he says that he can gobble them all. Them all means what, students? To whom Merok will gobble? Ma'am, uh, sir, the Merok sitting in classroom, so he tells that all, all students. students. Yes, and gobble means to just swallow. To just Swallow uh, the students. He will not. He will. He <clears throat> does not need to chew them. He will just gobble them. He just swallow, eat them quickly. So Marok says that he can eat. He can swallow all the students sitting in the class at one time. And he says that he is seven feet tall. And I am breathing green flames from my ears. Now you see the picture of Merog. His green flames are coming out from his ears. Actually, the ears are not shown here, but the right hand side of his ears. You can see the green flames are coming out from the ears. Wouldn't they yell if they knew? If they guessed that the Merog was here? Now Merog says that if at all. Out of these many students, even if the one student will come to know, if they will have a little bit idea, little bit clue, little bit hint that alien is sitting in the class, will not they yell? Will not they shout loudly in the class? Ha ha! They haven't a clue, or they would tremble in fear. Now Marok says that ha ha, it is good for them that they are not having the clue, they are not having the idea that who is sitting, the alien is sitting. Otherwise, they will shake, they will start shaking their body. Means with fear when your hands and legs get get on the vibration mode, they start vibrating, and the color of the face changes when you are in a fear. So, so this will happen when they will come to know that Merog, the alien, is sitting right on the last bench. Okay, who else will read this stanza? Sir, sir. Sir, look, we're going to listen. Okay. Sir, look, we're going to listen. I see a crayon. Sir, good day. Okay, sir. Look, look, a Merog. They, they would all scream and smack. <laughs> The blackboard would fall and the killing would track, killing. crack. A teacher would faint, I suppose. But I would greet to myself, sitting right at the back, sitting right at the back. And nobody knows, nobody knows. Are she screaming? Okay. <clears throat> Now. Look, look, a merog. They would all scream and smack. That means all will shout. All the students, not only the students, but also the teacher, will shout. They will get afraid. They will scream. They will scream. That look, look, alien. The merog is sitting. All will the students will get up. They will start running here and there. They will. Smack their feet and the hands on the benches. They will all start shouting, running out of the class and running here and there in the class. The class which is calm down, which which is very calm, 
they are sitting they are studying will take the form of a cyclone the storm as if the storm the storm has come in the class the blackboard would fall and the ceiling would crack actually the blackboard cannot fall because blackboard is not living thing so blackboard will not get afraid of marrow because blackboard is just the object used in the class but this line describes that in the class from top to the bottom everything will be here and there nothing will be calm as it was everything will be destroyed by the students who are running here and there a teacher would faint i suppose now how many of you know meaning of faint sir i know nakwira ki basad yes sir i know sir faint means uh, uh, see ill can you repeat to be ill or uh, uh, in that uh, behosh that you said in hindi now means that when you sir what i don't know that word of english actually you need to just explain it properly it is like when you see something very dangerous and when you are afraid of that thing immediately your mind stops working you become unconscious that what to do and then you fall down with your closed eyes this situation is called to yes, fail down okay so say yes, for an example when you are walking on the in the garden and suddenly when you see when you don't expect anything and that thing happens so, so suddenly when you see two lions coming at, um, on your side real lions obviously now there is no way for you to run back nor can you stand there if you will stand there you know what will happen so this situation is called you know very tough situation in this situation what you will do dying you will fall down because you are very afraid what do what do we do so obviously when the students will turn back they will see marog is there seven feet tall alien is there dangerous look of alien is there what they will do they will not be able to run they will not be able to sit there they will fall down dishing teacher will specially faint down but i would dream to myself sitting right at the back but marox is that i will become happy and i will sit here but i will hide myself because if i will show myself what will happen now you know and nobody nobody knows so the marox is that unless i don't want them to see me they will not see me this is what marog has the magic in him but nobody will know and nobody will know unless the marog wants them to know okay any doubts dear students no sir so now let us play one short game oh sir no doubt okay sir now the game is you have to repeat the stanza yes, in the tone i am repeating in the tune i am repeating one by one student will get the chance the level will become harder and harder one by one so first who wants me who wants to do this task first who wants to try to repeat with me nakwi ragi basan nakwi ragi basan sir okay so ragib says he wants to try first let us give him the chance i hope you are ready yes sir always my desk is at the back of the class my desk is at the back of the and nobody knows but nobody knows we cannot we cannot hear you properly sorry not even half of the line you spoke and nobody knows but nobody knows 
Ragi, you are trying, but uh, we cannot hear you. So, just so we can go in gallery. Anyone so, now my voice is clear. Now your voice is clear. Anyone who has sneezing problem, is that okay? Will you be able to repeat? Yes, sir. Okay. I am a marrow from Mars with a body of brass and seventeen fingers and toes. I am a marrow from Mars with a body of brass and seventeen fingers and toes. Wouldn't they shrike if they knew I have three eyes in the back of my head and my hair is bright purple, my nose is deep blue and my teeth are half yellow and half red? Wouldn't they shrike if they knew I? I have three eyes in the back of my head, and my hair is bright purple. My nose is deep blue, and my teeth are half yellow and half red. My five arms are silver and bright, with knives on them, my sharper than the spear. My five arms are silver and bright, with knives on them, sharper and spurs. Sharpener, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Students, we say sharpener, right? Yes. So what can I do with hard level? This is not hard level, but uh, sharpener and sharpen. This is called slip of tongue. Okay, sir. Uh, so you are out, but read the last two lines in your own tone. I could go back right now if I liked, and later in a million light years. Okay, so, so you're getting nine out of ten. Let us see how many scores okay. will your friends bring. Okay, sir. Okay, who is the who is the next one? So Rasan, sir, Bitta Ayaz. Okay, Bitta Ayaz will get the chance. Bitta Ayaz, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. I could gobble them all, for I am seven foot tall. I could gobble them all, for I am seven foot tall. Your tone is getting lower than me. Your tone should be same. And I am breathing green flames from my ears. Wouldn't they yell if they knew, if they guessed the, that the marrow was here? And I am breathing green flames from my ears. Wouldn't they yell if they knew? If they guessed that Marov was here. Student's tone was different, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Totally different. Last chance. Ha ha! They haven't a clue, or they would tremble in fear. Ha ha! They haven't a clue, or they would tremble in fear. No, 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 no. Your tone is a bit different, but still you are getting eight, no, seven point five out of ten. Let us see who 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 will be the next one. Sir, Hassan. Okay, Hassan. Look, look, a marrow. They would all scream and smack. Look, look, a marog. They all scream and smack. Mm -mm, they would all scream. The blackboard would fall and the ceiling would crack. A teacher would faint, I suppose. The blackboard fo oh, would fall and the ceiling would crack. A teacher would faint, I suppose. But I would grin to myself, sitting right at the back. And nobody, nobody knows. But I would grin to myself, sitting right at the back, and nobody, no, uh, nobody knows. Eight out of ten. Who else will try? Sir, Priyan and Shafiq. Yes, Shafiq. Sir, okay. Mine okay, Shafiq, are you ready? Shafiq is not ready. Okay, then who else will try? Yes, sir, ready, Shafiq. For sacred hand. Two people yes, are speaking together. How will I? 
Sir, Safiq is ready. Okay, I thought that you are not ready. Okay. No, sir, ready. Safiq. My desk at the back of the class. My desk at the back of the class. And nobody knows, but nobody knows. And nobody knows, but nobody knows. I am a marrow from from the Mars with the body of brass. I am marrow from Mars with a body of brass. And seventeen fingers and toes. And seventeen finger and toes. Wouldn't they shrink if they knew I have three eyes in the back of my head and my hair is bright purple? Wouldn't they shrink? If the queue, I have the three ears in the back of my head, and my head in bright purple. Okay, Shafiq, your mistakes were made. You have made three mistakes, so you're getting seven point. No, you're getting seven out of ten because when you read, see. Uh, Shafiq, not only Shafiq, but the other students who are present and whose chance is left. Students, always when I say that you need to improve the reading, you need to improve the reading, and you need to improve the reading. Reason behind that is, if your reading is good, what will happen? You know, you will be able to read one line within one time. Otherwise, you will read like this. Would would would. Would tell they this will be reading, but if your reading is good, you can read it properly. You know that wouldn't they strike if they knew? So as much as you practice it, you will get a good grip in the reading. Shafiq, are you understanding better? Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. Who 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 will be the next one to try? Sir, Sheikh Rehan. Okay, Sheikh Rehan. Sheikh Rehan, are you ready? Yes, sir. Wouldn't they shrink if they knew? I have three eyes in the back of my head. Would they say shrink if they knew? I have three eyes in the back of my head. And my hair is bright purple. And my hair is bright purple. My nose is deep blue, and my teeth are half yellow and half red. My nose is deep blue, and my teeth are half yellow and half red. Pay attention in which tone I am speaking, and when I am reading it, read and observe the word and pronunciation properly. My five arms are silver and spiked, with knives on them sharper than the spears. My five arms are silver and spiked, with knives on them sharp. Knives on them sharp than scarpens. Okay, we are going to stop now. So you are getting seven out of ten. This is sharper and this is fierce. So you are out. But you get seven. I want you to bring ten out of ten. Okay. Who else will try? Sir, I am. Sorry, Muhammad Kef. What is your name? Muhammad Muhammad Kef. Okay, Muhammad Kef. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let me see the time. It's nine nine. Okay. I could gobble them all, for I am seven foot tall. I could gobble them all, for I am seven foot tall. And I am breathing green flames from my ears. And I am breathing green flames from my ears. Flames? What is this? Flames. Flames. No flames. When I am speaking flames, why are you speaking flames? Flames. Only one line I read, and still you made the mistake, dear. Anyways, wouldn't they yell if they knew if they guessed that the marrow was here? Would they yell 
if the if they guessed that a marriage was her. Okay, last two lines. Ha ha! They haven't a clue, or they would tremble in a fear. Ha ha! They haven't to a clue, or they will tremble in fear. Okay, you're getting seven point five out of ten. Just please make sure that you read daily three to four pages. You have to read daily. You have to read whether that lesson is there or not. Any English book you take and. You can read English and read it at least three to four pages in one day. Okay, so practice will be good for you. Okay, who else wants to try? Who else wants to try? Arman Gori. Let me see. Arman Gori. Okay, let me see the name of the group of the students. And the remaining students will be out of the group. Okay, Taufik Islam, then Z, then Mahir. These students are not answering. I have written their name in the side. And whenever I will take the board lecture, I will not add them. Okay, so Arman, are you ready? Yes, sir. Look, 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 man. They would all scream and smack. Look, look, a marriage dead. All scream and smack. This is marriage. How will you read this? Marriage, marriage, sir. The blackboard would fall and the ceiling would crack. A teacher would faint, I suppose. The blackboard would fall and the ceiling would crack. A teacher would faint, I suppose. I suppose this is all, and this is ceiling. Still, when I'm reading these two lines, you you cannot even read two lines properly. Okay. Hmm. So today, how many how many pages you are reading? Tell me. See, students, let me let me give you one instruction. Let me give you see. Try to understand what you all do. You know, you come in the online class. Sometimes when your mood is there, or when you are waking up, you answer. Otherwise, you join the lecture. You keep the mobile, throw it one side. You don't answer. And then what you do? Dar dar dar, you complete your work from the PDF file. When you don't come to the online class, what happens? You tell your parents that father or mother, please ring the sir, tell them send PDF file. How we will complete the book? What? I mean, you want to study like this way? Go to tuition, open PDF file, complete your book, come home. Mom, my book is complete. Just dar dar dar, you read from the book. You come to the exam. Just write the answers. Finish. Hundred out of hundred. Okay. A plus grade. Take your result. Go to the next class. Is this the way to study? I am telling you. Then better you go on the road and do the sleeping work. I am talking about the students who are not joining the lecture. Not about these students. Few your friends who are not joining the lecture. Not all. Few students are very good. They are watching the lectures. They are not able to join the lecture because they don't have the facility of internet in the morning, or they don't have the facility of mobile phone in the morning. But they watch the lecture regularly in the evening. They complete their work. They understand the lesson, and then they complete their work. Now my point is towards the students who are not understanding the lesson. They just want to note down the meanings, give one word question answer, read it, write in the answer, and finish. Sorry, if this way you want to study, then there is no purpose of it. The purpose of English language lesson is that if you will read the lesson, you will be able to understand different lines. You will learn different sentences. 
you will be able to understand different high level language that is why from first to fourth standard easy language is there from fifth second standard middle language is there till tenth standard you get the high level why because outside when you will go for the job for the interviews no one will ask you the what or where of doing or who is where of but then you should know meaning of screen meaning of man meaning of you know call see that you should know that should be the purpose of your reading and coming in the class no one will ask you these questions or these mcq in the outside world after you get the job so now if you don't understand this you just learn the meaning that is useless when you get pdf file note down in the fair book that the fair book is complete give the exam no one is going to ask you and take your fair book in outside world i have all the pdf files which you are going to get come on i will send all the 10 pdf files you will complete all the 10 lessons you will view the exam what is the use of that uh hasan what is the time yes sir 917 the time 917 okay let us solve few objectives students first you have to write meanings two times so take out the rough book Yes, sir. Okay, Hassan is ready. If you become ready, if you be ready with your rough book, say yes, sir, in your name. Yes, sir, Armani. Sir, I am ready, sir. Sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, I am Hassan. Hmm. Oh. Poem na. Sorry. I read this poem. And uh, I mm, suppose I that I find question answers. That so sir in that question answers one question uh, one question and answer I don't find. You are trying to find the question answers of your own. That is what you saying. Yes, but uh, sir in one uh, that a uh, six is I uh, not uh, find. But what is the mood of the alien? What is the mood of the alien? Yes. So, what do you mean by mood? Mood can be good, bad. In good, bad, you can be sad. You can be angry. These are the expressions. These are the moods, right? Yes. So this answer you have to make overall by reading the poem. It would not be given in any paragraph. Okay, sir. Try to do it. It can be either right or wrong. So no worries. Those okay. who are ready with the rough books, they have said yes, sir. I'm waiting for the other students to get ready with the rough books. Arsh, then uh, Abu Zar, then Ahmad, then Shafiq. These all are not ready with the rough book. Shafiq. So these all students yes, are. Yes, sir. For... Yes, sir. So people who are not speaking, please make sure. Yes, sir. Give the last chance. Otherwise, I will consider that uh, 
you are absent for my lecture yes sir but yani shafiq yes sir sir i am ready yes sir ready um first meaning strike a high pitched scream so students question you have to write one time answer you have to write three times come on start writing strike write one time then write the answer three times a high pitched scream a high pitched scream a high pitched scream after writing this say yes sir in your name How many of you are writing? So I shall wait for you if you say. Okay. The next meaning is gobble. Eat, eat quickly. So again, question once and the answer three times. You are right. Sir, the second go. This is second. Yes, this is second one. Gobble, eat sir, quickly. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, say okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't speak your name, everyone, four times. Only speak one time. I will be able to hear. Don't worry. See again. If you want me to turn on the camera and teach you on the board. then you have to behave properly only then tomorrow i will arrange the board lecture or else i will take daily this lecture so students which lecture you enjoy this lecture or when you can see me on the board this lecture board lecture board so when we see you that uh, the board lecture Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello. Uh, ah, yeah. sir. Before this, you have written anything? Before this, you have written before anything? this, shrike a high pitched scream. This was the first meaning. No, sir. That no means any question that hard words you. Think. No, no, no. Yes, no. sir. Hard words. Okay, sir. But not today. Not this lecture. He's asking about this lecture. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. That... Next, next is tremble, shiver with fear. You have to write this also. Brackets. Write quickly. Number three. Three times answer. Tremble. 
fever with fear sir two time or three time three time is fear sir i write uh, two meaning two time no i say three times i even uh, wrote three on the meaning okay sir sir second and done ओके so is anyone still writing yes sir asan work is yes, done yes sir all well writing yes sir priyam okay, speak is writing okay beta see students hard words i suppose i have given you yes sir no sir are you sure and we send you also okay i got it so students in the next lecture uh, okay last chance i am giving to this class maximum students students should be present and everyone should answer so i will start next lecture board lecture i will give you rhyming words question answers everything on the board so tomorrow last chance for this class otherwise for ever this lecture will be there okay time is up so we shall stop our work for now for tomorrow we will continue